Okay, at this point, we've already finished profiling the grip. We have the exact size that we want. Now we're using a coax indicator on the milling machine to find the true center of our grip hole. Once we find the exact center of this hole and that hole to within half of one thousandths, we'll pull our coax indicator out, put our special cutter in that I have sized exactly one thousandths over the diameter of the grip screw bushing and the screw head so we've got a true precise fit. Then we'll countersink our grip holes on the back side and on the front side, the exact height necessary to make the grip screw itself flush with the front and the bushing dead flat with the back. Okay, you can see the needle bouncing. The more it bounces, the more out of round you are. So we bring the mill table back in, and you steady that needle about right there, you're within half of one thousandths. A post-it note is approximately four thousandths, so we're eight times more precise than that. We'll zero our digital readout, which you can't see, it's a display we have off to the side. Okay, this is the last step in the machining process of these grips. What we've got set up is the cutter and the mill that's going to equal the same diameter as the screw head itself. Actually, the cutter is one thousandths larger. I use three different cutters depending on the diameter that I measure from the screw head itself. Um, on a custom grip, I believe that you should have minimal clearance between the screw and the wood itself so it looks like it's seamless. As far as the depth, the way you get that is that you measure the diameter of the screw, or actually rather the thickness of the screw head itself, and here we have approximately 30 thousandths in our thickness. So we're going to set up the mill with a digital readout and we're going to plunge to a depth of 30 thousandths, which will give us a very precise fit between the screw and the wood itself. Actually, I'll probably stop short about a thousandths and a half. We'll get a tiny bit of compression when we torque the screw down. When we're finished, we'll have the surface of the wood at the same height as the surface of the screw. There you can see we have the 28 and a half thousandths.